my art is more about bringing order, beauty out of chaos. Okay, uh, you might know that uh, Northern Uganda has been a, a region of conflict. For a long time it was a region of war. The Lord's Resistance Army is run by a man called Joseph Kony. They've butchered their way across the region, kidnapping boy children as soldiers, raping, pillaging, burning. It's now experiencing relative peace. Most people used to re live in uh, refugee camps, but when they went back to their villages, there was a big void of uh, no churches. And so we found an opportunity it gave us a chance to go in and try to minister to people who are hurting. We did not plan to plant churches. It was a spontaneous work. minister to are some of the most loving people you'll ever find on the, uh, in the face of the world. I, I believe so because they're just beautiful people, am I right? Yes, you are. And so we planted the first church and discovered the next village too did not have a church. Mm. And many times when they realized that we are planting churches, people would come from different villages to request us to help them to plant churches. We go to places and we preach Jesus and bring the gospel. But after that, again, you need now to see how to improve people's lives. I was born and raised in Kenya. Uh, when I was 20 years, I went to India to study. And then that, after finishing my studies, that's where I met this girl. God in his ways, we are here. I would call him the Peter, the, the one Jesus said, uh, Lord, if you call me, I'll come in the water. He steps in the deep waters where I'm like, we will not manage this. We wouldn't be well, where we are in terms of the number of fellowships we have if he doesn't. He's a kind of, we'll just get there. We will figure out, but let's go. I concentrate on maybe on the big picture, but my wife is very good and very detailed in, in filling in the game. Hey, can you get a hold of yourself? <laughs> I, um, um, Our chicken be making a lot of noise for you guys. <laughs> she brings reality to, to a, a project, and I, I think I, I would be nowhere. I would not have done it nearly as much as we have done without without her help. I think the pattern in the Bible is that even Jesus worked as a carpenter. Paul worked as a tent maker. Mm -hmm. In all labor, the Bible says there's profit. So for me, art is that skill. I want to do work with my hands to be able to take care of the needs of my people. Right now we have like 32 churches that we have planted. That we, we have a church in in Kampala, Chinchuatule. We have a mission field in Kiriadongo district, Noya, Gulu, uh, Nebi, Zombo. When churches are established, they start now ministering to the community. Even those who are not in the church, mm. they find that the church is, is helpful to the community. There has been a tremendous change mm. since we started going to mm. those places. I think hopelessness and despair causes people to behave mm. in a certain way. But the coming of hope changes people's thinking and also their behaviors. I have seen a lot of change in the villages we, we began with.
It's like you bring people from a place of a base mm. into a place where you see their beauty, the inside beauty mm. they have. It brings a lot of sense to a chaotic event turning into a very beautiful thing about people. 